Okay, so we're set up to do our vertical up and we're gonna do kind of a side to side motion with an upward whip, side to side, whip, side to side, whip. We're gonna cheat a little bit more of our heat on the solid edge as this is the edge of the T-metal. So it'll take less heat to dig in because we have an edge. So we're gonna kind of do a angle at 45 towards it, do a side side up down, side side up down. Here we go. She's a little hot, she's gouging. I'm gonna turn her down. Getting a little bit of undercut coming in there. Break her down to about 82. Oh yeah, it's much better. You can just see those toes just tie right in. There's a lot less sparks flying out of it too. That's a clear indication. Not overheated. And that's that puddle just solidify right in there. get about halfway, a little over halfway when we're doing that weld with the first rod. Okay, when we start the restart, we're just going to kind of drop down. We're going to strike down in our path. We don't want to strike out here on the sides. Strike down into the weld path, do that side-side motion, and then when we finish it off, we'll cap it. Kind of watch it just fall right in there, every whip. But it just falls right in. You got a little gouging towards the top. Be careful you don't blow the top out. Going right into our cast. There's our cap. Okay, so this was our 6010 vertical up that we did. And you see we got good start on the bottom, nice tying in. Make sure you get both uh, 90 degree pieces to blend in, then start working your way up, back forth. And I'm angling the rod at a 45 degree angle on this solid piece, okay? We did have to have a temperature change because we started getting a little bit of undercut right here. So there's our restart. One thing of the welder you have to you know identify is as you're watching that puddle, if it gets too overheated, don't be afraid to stop in the middle of the weld and make an amperage adjustment. So we did turn it down to uh, from 90 to 82. So kind of tied it right in here, finished it right up to the top. And what I'm talking about with that heat is we'll look on the edge and you can definitely see the heat marks all the way up, okay? So you'll see that mill scale just blister right off. And we also have good heat marks on the solid piece too, okay? So there's the bottom. You can see even at that 90 degrees, heat marks are a little faint. And then of course we corrected it and bring it down. We still get heat marks more at the top because when you're vertically welding, the heat's gonna transfer, you know, all the way up to the top. So there's the 80, I'm sorry, 6010 vertical up. 7018 vertical up.
Didn't quite make it to the top. It's all right, we're gonna finish it. So we're gonna wait for this glow to go away and we're just gonna chip this crater right in here. We'll come back in, we'll stick it and we'll just kind of fill it all the way up. And we've got a little bit of meat from this tap that's going to be left over. Sure, we get any slag that's in there out of there. And we're our ground plant. Okay, we got a stubby used rod here. We'll come right back in. We'll put our strikes downward. Just get right in there and we'll finish it off. Here we go. Get the cap. Make sure we don't blow that top out. You start seeing those top edges start to wind away, just stop right there, okay? We can always chip this out and we can put another cap on it later. Got a little belly button on the top. All right, we're gonna clean this up here and take a look at it. 